Though early voting in Texas was a little lower than four years ago, lines were certainly long at many local polling places sure, today. Sure, long at mine. For the first time, Travis County had open voting centers where registered voters could cast their ballots at any county polling spot. KITV's Adam Mercusen is live at the University of Texas where the line, is it still pretty long there, Adam? Oh, it's incredibly long. We're looking at it anywhere from an hour to an hour and a half. Some students tell me they even waited in line for two hours. We may challenge 2008 voting turnout. Look at this line. It wraps all the way down and then back around the building. This is about the hour long mark and where it ends. Come back this way back around the corner once again. So we're looking at a pretty long line there. Now, even though there are so many people here, it's not keeping people from voting. The Travis County clerk tells me more than 100,000 people so far in the county have cast their ballot. She's hoping to see that number climb to more than 150,000 people by the end of the night. That kind of number will rival the election turnout from 2008, where more than 60 percent of Travis County showed up to vote. She says there's been no real problems today. They did have a few computers go down, but then they had them up and running again nice and quick. Even though there are all these long lines, the students tell me, hey, it's no big deal to wait. I mean, a duty to be an American citizen, I mean, I have to, you know, I feel obligated to. It's my first time voting, so, like, I'm not used to the process or anything, but... What do you think so far? <laughs> uh, it's taking a little bit of time out of my day that I could be studying, but it's okay. And see even a first-time voter getting her chance. You can see back out here live how long this line is, anywhere from an hour to an hour and a half. This year, Travis County has its longest ballot ever. The county clerk tells me it should take you somewhere around six minutes to fill out, but that is causing lines to be a little bit longer. Remember, if you do plan to vote tonight, you need to be in line by 7 p.m. Reporting live at the UT campus, Adam Rakusin, KITV News. And I bet there'll be long lines at 7 p.m. still. I think there will be. It's going to be a long night ahead, period. You bet.